super fine salt to back with the first, no, not back with, starting the first episode of the Super Fine Salt podcast with the boys in the room, uh, Carter. Oh, oh. Carter, hello. Yeah. 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 Dallas. Yeet. Seth. Hey, yo. Dallas, and our... talk about predetermined male pattern baldness. Ah. Okay. Oh, so, in our first, in our first and f- a very first guest, not yeah, uh, David. I just put pants on. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Thank you, David. Yeah. All right. So. Right. Yeah, today, we definitely needed to know that. Our first episode, we'll be talking about movies. Let's go. Movies. Some okay. Movies. Let's go. Let's open the good ah. old. Let's open the good old Google and find some good movies. I'm an e boy. I know you are. No, you're not. Best movie. Okay. All right. Who is? All right. You want movie oh, record? What is everybody's favorite? Hold on. Good fun. What is? Sorry for that, everyone. Carter, Carter, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie by far is Star Wars Rogue One. Can't change okay. my mind. Okay, that's just an interesting. That's that's an interesting choice. Um, do you just think the actor's hot? I no, I, I, would I like, like the story. Why, Carter? Carter, why? Why it, do you? It why, has... why? It's a good story, and it's not cliche to the other to like other movies of its time, to where the okay. good guy always wins. Okay. That's never the case. You're, yep, that's true. Okay, that's good reasoning. Seth, what's your favorite movie? Um, I don't have one. Uh, oh, I'm joking. My favorite movie is um The Wolf of Wall Street. Okay, Why? I can't say I've seen it. I'll be honest. It's just amazing. It's like. Everything I want in a movie, it's a like documentary, but it's a movie. And hot no, girls. it's a documentary, but it's a movie and Leonardo da Vinci. He's one of my favorite actors. Did DiCaprio, you mean? <laughs> it's just a really good, it's just a really good movie. Okay. Uh, Dallas, what is your favorite movie? <laughs> uh, probably Avengers Endgame. Uh, Endgame? Okay. Just, ew. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I okay. enjoyed the movie. I watched it in theaters twice. Uh. So did I. It was fantastic and lived up to my expectations. In fact, it went over them, and I then was just the, say it passed the my memory, expectations. the memory of the like just the memory of the experience is what puts it up there. Because I remember my my draw, jaw was like wide open for the whole second half of the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that uh, that movie was definitely good. I um, still haven't hey, seen it. David, what is your favorite movie? Okay. I I like. Okay. I don't really have one, but I do like Ready Player One. Okay. Uh, I actually never Jack, went and saw that movie. Jackass is pretty good. <laughs> For All those right. of you who don't know what Jackass is, let's look it up on the old Wikipedia. I think everyone knows. Uh, I don't I think most like of these people know. know. MTV? Yep. The TV show I really want to watch, though, I want to see Loiter Squad. It just looks funny. It's Tyler, the creator, and oh. the rest of the Odd Future gang just messing around on t- live television. Well, oh. hold on. I'm going to say my favorite movie is, is a, it's a war movie. It's actually one that uh, uh, we talked about a while ago. Um, Hacksaw oh. Ridge? Or, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is Hacksaw Ridge. Hacksaw that Ridge. is my favorite movie. I, I like love Fury that movie too. so much. That's an amazing movie. Hacksaw yeah. Ridge. It, I love everything about it. Have you I'm a big movie? World War II fan. Have you seen Fury? I, have I seen Fury? No, I don't think I have. Is that the one about the black guy from Avengers? No, it's the no. World War II. It's the World War II movie, and no. they're in a tank. Oh. Don Cheadle. It's... No, not no, Don, Don Cheadle. Uh, Don my Cheadle. Favorite, my no, Don I'm Cheadle. Sean Carter. <laughs> my favorite movie, like, like just move the way the movie was made, not with like my 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 memory is attached to it. Stereotypical. Uh, just like watching the movie, just like my favorite yeah. movie, just seeing it in general is uh dark knight rise i mean dark knight just dark knight okay i i do agree i think i the original dark knight was so good it was a fantastic movie exactly yeah definitely would agree with that now the real question what's the real question what is the best movie that everyone can just sit down and watch with a group. 
With a group but, of people? Like, what kind of group? If it's your friend, like, it's a horror movie. Horror movies become comedies if you're with a group yeah, of friends. That is, yeah. no. that is so just... Yes. Our group, our group, best movie to okay. watch with yeah, our group. So, it's something a... based around a franchise mm. that we all like. So the probably... Guys. Probably uh, Danny Boy or something. The, the <laughs> other guys. Danny Boy, yeah. The other guys is a good movie. Hold on, I kind of want to go off of what Dallas said there. Um, he said a good movie to a good type of movies to watch with a group are horror movies because they come become comedies with a group of friends. And yeah. if you think well, about it, I kind of agree. With friends or with not? No. Well, yeah, because horror movies tend to lighten up with the friends by people. throwing comedy in there. But he yeah. means by that is I you make tend fun to of movies by not... myself. Hold on. You, you he can. means by that is you tend to not take it so seriously, and it it becomes more fun to watch when you're watching it with a group of people, and you can all kind of react together. So I I would agree with that. I'd say a horror movie is a great movie to watch with a group of friends. And yeah, because uh, and generally well, most horror movies these days kind of suck. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Not very and, not um, very many are good. They're pretty cheap. Another. Th- Another thing yeah. that uh, – the reason I say that is because just as an example, my old group of friends that I hung out with, uh, back in seventh grade, we watched uh, – they came over to my house and hang out for a little while, and we uh, wanted to watch horror movies just for that exact reason, and we ended mm-hmm. up watching uh, – we didn't want to watch anything, any movies with any, like, too much swearing or nudity because, you know, we had a, we had an innocent friend. As everybody has a friend, that friend and a friend. Yeah, well, you're yeah. Oh, close yeah. yeah. And um, so we wanted to watch something kid friendly. So we ended up watching some. Cr- we want, ended up watching some crappy uh, 1960s movie. It was the sequel to Night of the Living Dead, which was a fantastic. That movie. That was not a crappy the sequel, movie. No, the sequel to it was like it was crappy with as in like the effects. That was what we were like, laughing about because the characters. Well, looked yeah, like they were... but it's a good movie otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, but we weren't focused on that. We were laughing about it. Wasn't Night of the Living Dead. It was uh, a sequel to it. It was a crappy See, knockoff sequel. Dawn of the Dead. I'm and really uh, I'm really something the like that, and the effects looked like they were made of clay. They literally just like they put clay on the person. And that I'm was really why we were laughing. Film? Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, Seth told me about how I, he wanted to watch this I movie. The film for the ballerina. In for yeah. The time period. Yeah, that one, I... I uh, that one I didn't really like that much, but for the time period, I'd say I don't even think that one was that good. I'm, it's not. It wasn't Dawn of the Dead. Uh, that one's a good movie. So is Night of the Living Dead. The show is Return. Dead. Oh, you no. know a good scary movie? I'll have to look into it. It was like it's 60s, called, 70s. Yeah. It's called Trench Eleven. It's it was came out in 2017. It's, we watched uh, it at my house. Trench nice. Eleven. It was, yeah, it's about like. Nazis creating zombies, kind of. Oh, uh, yeah. so it's like oh. Call of Duty World War Two. What's it called, yeah. David? Trench Eleven. Yeah. Trench Eleven. That sounds good. It's Watch the trailer um, for it. It's it's okay. It's got a cool. Halloween cover. 2018 was pretty good. What, yeah, that well, one. That, that movie, was a good one. How about some movie recommendations? What does everybody Trench, got? Good Trench 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 Goodfellas, Jersey Boys, Ready Player One. Me? Okay. I actually haven't seen that movie. I still you should really watch it. I'm gonna it's really have to. good. I've heard it's great. It's great. Yeah, I've heard it's great, and I've also heard some people that just did, didn't like the people that really don't get the pop culture references are the ones that are saying that it's not good. Yeah. Yeah. So, or for people and then, like, and then, and then you've got the negative people that'll say like they're just it's just a big advertisement, uh, but I think it it looks mm. cool, good. Who's you know, for playing? people like for people like us, I think it would definitely be a great movie because of all the pop culture references in it. I think we would find it really cool. So I, Dave, I'm I'm assuming that's my, why David likes it so much. I must I need to watch it. It's because of all the video game references. That's why. Yeah. Um, how about uh, Dallas? What do you have for some movie references? Uh, well. Obviously, if you haven't seen Dark Knight, watch that. It's a great movie, even if you haven't seen... The whole seen... series, honestly. Yeah. Ugh. Even if you, if you haven't... If you, if you somehow haven't heard of Batman, definitely watch it. <laughs> Joker's a good it, one, the new Joker. Even, even oh, if you dude, haven't... yeah. Let's talk Joker about the new Joker. Movie. That Joker yes. movie was so good. Watch it. You're missing out. Dude, it, it was good. Stop they crackling, did, did good. whoever's doing that. Um... Yeah, I 
I thank you for bringing that up because honestly, that that might be competing for one of my favorite movies ever. Because I think the acting and first of all, the acting from Joaquin Phoenix in that movie was Joaquin immaculate. Was what? What? I said Joaquin. You said thank you. Joaquin. I did. Thank you. His his acting his acting was absolutely amazing, and I loved it. I don't think they could have picked a better act a, ba- a better actor for the new movie. Starved himself for it. Is there a new Alien movie coming up? I think. Oh, I watched the whole Alien series in a day. <laughs> it was it was fun. I did that with Star Wars. You did not watch it in a whole day, Seth. Yeah. You were watching. You were watching, no the, the, you were watching one that... on the way to the new one. <laughs> He was actually. He was. Well, were we you watching were, like, the last? Cool. Yeah, Seth was watching the Last Jedi on the way to go see the Rise of Skywalker. While well, we were like blasting music. I finished mm-hmm. it. <laughs> he did. I didn't even know how you could have heard anything. I have really good at hearing. <laughs> That's what she said. And subtitles. The bass was over- overwhelming. Um, I think I would have. To- I'm trying to think of some movies I would recommend. Um, oh, I just, uh, just watch a movie, actually, Seth, the, the one we watched at your house, uh, uh, Good Will Hunting, that's what it was called. Uh, that, I just watched that movie for the first time over at Seth. That is actually, that is another amazing movie. I, honestly, I didn't expect that much out of it at the beginning, because I just wasn't interested at the time, but I watched it, I stayed up and watched it, it was absolutely amazing, I loved it. Um, Karen, what are some new movies they're advertising? Um, I don't know. I want to see that new uh, Will Ferrell movie. Uh, Where him I... and a woman are stuck in a lodge in the mountains. Uh, the Invisible Man, I've... Bloodshot, Birds of Prey, The Hunt, Ew. Onward. I don't know how I feel about The Birds Call of the Prey. Wild looks good. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Um, what's it called? There's a there's a new movie coming out. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's with Ryan Reynolds in it. Um, I know Dallas, you've heard. Yes, of it. that that movie looks. Yeah, yeah fantastic. he's stuck in a game. Yeah, he is. Uh, I forget what it's called. Can you guys help me out here? Uh, no, um, I don't actually remember. Oh, Jumanji. I, I have a good no. movie recommendation. I think it was Hold free on. something. Free something. Oh, uh, free. Oh shoot. Yeah, it, I think it was too. Carter, can you Google new movies with Ryan Reynolds? The people are saying that it's a um. There's a rumor going around that it's a test to see if they can get away with making Deadpool three PG thirteen. Free guys. They're sin- free, free guys. Free yeah, free free guy. That's yeah, he's called. he's an NPC in a game that uh, becomes uh, gets his mind of his own. Yeah. yeah, but it's kind of like, it seems kind of cool. It's like just like Ready Player One in the sense of how we think it that movie was good. You know, it it's a lot of video game not references really, although there's probably a couple, and there's also pretty sure a bunch of uh, actors like YouTubers and stuff, and uh, other actors that are very recognizable across social media and stuff will probably be appearing in it. I'm pretty sure. I know Jack is gonna be in it. Um, oh, that'll be fun. Let's hope yeah. that Ninja's not in there. Oh, dude. Or Don't get me started on Ninja. Um, but um, yeah, I've it looks really good, and I think it's just gonna kind of put us like a it's gonna play the whole kind of video game stereotype and all of the stereotypes of video games and stuff. I think it'll be cool. Kind of looking forward to it. The comedy looks pretty great as well. Mm-hmm. Terminator mm-hmm. is good. Spencer Confidential. Oh yeah, that movie. movie. Good. What'd you say? Spencer the David Terminator Mitchell was a good movie. Oh, the term like specifically the new one, David. Yeah. No, all of them. Yeah, but the new one is They're not all good. I yeah, let's talk about one. the new one. The new one's actually yeah, the new good. Yeah, one, the new one's good. The new they, one's they good. did something the weird. It was, it was, it's pretty confusing, though, because it's really weird, and there's a lot what? of plot holes. The new one, it's mm. there are a lot of plot holes. I don't want to spoil it, because I don't know if people have seen it, but there are a lot of I've plot holes. I've seen it. I have Yeah, but but the people that, like watching, watching listening to podcasts. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'd, I've never really. I'll be honest with you. I never actually set 
the Terminator movies. I've seen the first two, but I haven't seen any of the other ones. Mm-hmm. And the fr- I love the first one's amazing. I definitely think the first one was awesome. I loved it. Have you guys heard of the movie Nine? No. Uh, mm-hmm. no. Yeah, I think so. What What's it about? The one. It's like this doctor. It's really hard to explain. I okay. I haven't seen it in a long time. This doctor creates like these puppets after oh, the world gets okay. like overrun. Okay. Carter, can you do it's some googling? Like, yes, I'm doing googling right now. Oh, a good movie. Spencer Confidential. It's a brand new you, Netflix movie. You just, just said that. I didn't okay. know if you... I don't remember. Spencer Confidential? What's but, that about? Um, it's a Mark Wahlberg movie. And he's a... I can't tell it without just, just ruining the movie. You gotta watch it. Okay. Here, okay, but, here's the synopsis. Okay, I'll let you finish. But, um, another good one is Goodfellas. It's a gangster movie. Um, okay. Gangster. Jersey Boys, it's about four seasons. Um, the band. Yeah, uh, those are two good movies. Um, a movie that I thought was good, um, just because I hadn't seen the, the source material. It was based on an anime, which is why I was expecting it to be bad, and I was just didn't have anything to watch. But the Death Note Netflix movie is actually that's not it. that bad. That's, it's, it's that's actually, pretty good. I've seen yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's actually a pr- really good movie. I've um, I've heard of the anime and that's why I probably wouldn't watch it, but I, I might have to look into it if you like it. People yeah, say the yeah, anime it's is a pretty fantastic. good. Yeah, they, but the thing what, is, what is, is, is the, it? this thing is be- Death the, Note. The, Death Note. Yeah, yeah. yeah the oh, Death it's Note. it's okay. No, I it's it's it. great. It's, okay. it's great. It's great if you like don't like hold it up to the source material. It's it's better if you use it if you treat it like it's just using that as inspiration, because mm-hmm. as on its own, it is a fantastic movie. Okay, it's I'll have to look okay, into it's it. It's an okay movie. It's not fantastic. Okay. Uh, Carter, what's the what do you have on that movie 9 David was talking about? Oh, uh, here's the synopsis. When 9, Elijah Wood, brings No, springs... don't don't read the synopsis. That's of the whole movie. No, yeah, you want to... I want to hear about hear. it. It's fine. Springs to life. It finds itself in a post-apocalyptic world where humans no longer exist and the only signs of life are a sentient ragdoll are sentient ragdolls like itself and the machines that hunt them. Though it is the youngest of the group, Nine convinces comrades that the only way to survive against the machines is to stop hiding, go in the offensive, and find out why the machines want to destroy them. As Nine and the group learn, civilization hinges on their success or failure. Huh. (laughs) That sounds... That actually does kind of... That's kind of different. It's different, but it doesn't sound that bad, actually. It's a 2009 yeah. movie. Yeah, I think I, I like that. I like the sound of it. David, have you watched it? Yeah, like four times. Hmm. It doesn't look that bad. It's weird. It sounds like great. That. Yeah, it's I not, like a... It's like a cool art. So. Hmm. It looks like a Tim Burton movie. In my opinion. Is it animated or live action? It's animated. Animated. Okay, okay, that that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I watched I like the whole like creepy. explanation of that movie and whatever. It goes pretty far into detail. Oh, dude, a movie that's really confusing is Inception. Holy crap! I'm still wondering what happened in the movie, and I watched it a month and a half ago. Like, what the heck? It leaves you. It le- just. The movie just confuses you, but it's a really good movie, so I recommend it. Inception. Okay. It's about dream hunt, like they go in people's minds and mess and get information out of their dreams and such. It's cool. Watch it. Leonardo oh. DiCaprio. Have you guys seen the new Predator? It came out in like 2018, so like yeah, I kind have. of new. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a pretty. I have good not movie. seen it. All oh, the, the new, Predator the newer Predator. remake. I didn't. I haven't seen the remake. Actually, I haven't seen any of the Predator movies. Yeah, I don't think it's. It's not a remake. Is it? Yeah, I, 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 no, I, I think it's a continuation. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because they've already rebooted the series once. Yeah, I don't think I've seen Predator. Bumblebee was a good movie. I can agree with that. Honestly, honestly, I never really. Okay, so. 
I think the first, um, the, like, there's one Transformers movie that I actually liked, and I think it was Revenge of the Fallen. I think that's what well, it was called. Like, I think, you don't like I think that was the them? fourth one. The I don't, I honestly, no. I no, mean, I think, no, no. I was I a Transformers like, kid. I would watch those movies every I like, single day. I, I thought they were so cool, but I, even with my love for the franchise, I, I still only liked Revenge of the Fallen and the first one. I would always watch the Dark Side of the Moon or whatever it's called, the second yeah, one. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't like that one that much, and I also didn't like any of the ones after Revenge of the. I like all of them. I still. I even like the animated show. I love that. Cartoon. The old one. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one's a good one. I like that they made the Bumblebee movie based off of that one instead of the one with uh, Bumblebee being like a Mustang or whatever he is. Yeah, he's a Camaro. Um. I didn't know. Yeah. No. Um, no, that's the same thing. That's the same story. Yeah. Though. They based it yeah, off the same yeah, story. Yeah. It's just before he, he can change he, Camaro. Yeah. Yeah. He can change. He can. They, Transformers can I change know. what vehicle they are. I know. Um. I think. Um. What's it called? Like I heard you guys say the. Uh, the animated TV series. I think the the original one was very good. I I watched think, that one yeah. a lot when I was younger. And then. Did like reboot back in like 2010 or something like that. Mm-hmm. I don't. It was really weird. I forget what it was called. Like Prime or something. I don't remember. Transformers Prime. I think. Yeah, maybe. Let's look it up. Let's look it up on the old Google. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I never really could uh, find interest in the Transformers movies that much. I didn't find them that entertaining. I like. Like what's it called? I like Revenge. And like that one that came out in like 2015 or something. It was called like, uh, it was the one with like the dinosaurs. I forget what it was called. Age of Extinction. That's what it was called. Mm-hmm. That one was movie. pretty good. Yeah, Transformers Prime was the animated one, but the original one was better. Mm-hmm. Not Transformers Four. Welcome to the, the Transformers official website. Let's go to the Transformers official website. Oh, they have an official God. website? Yep, it's... <laughs> Let's go to movies. Transformers Bumblebee, The Last Night, Transformers 5, Transformers 4, Age of Extinction. That one was good. Dark of the Moon was number 3. Uh, Revenge of the Fallen was 2. And Transformers oh. the Movie... Number one. Yeah, the first two were the best. Mm-hmm. Revenge of the and Fallen, then, I think, was my favorite. Yeah, I remember that one was, like, super good. And the first one was good as well. You guys well, know the movie... While we're on the... Go ahead. Do you know the movie says uh, Tremors? 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 Like yeah. Tremors. Didn't they, like didn't the... they just recently... I swear, didn't they recently just remake it? No, they, they, they're all continuations. Yeah, yeah, but isn't there wasn't there a more recent one? Yeah. When did it come out? I feel I feel like it was super recent. Ah, uh, yeah. I watched I one watched... of the older ones when I was younger, and it like traumatized me when I first saw it. I don't even know what it is. It's about like these giant worms that are in the. Uh, yeah, they're in the like ground, giant people trying... eating worms that live in the ground, and they just come out and burst out of the ground at random time. It's kind of scary. You yeah, they, the, they the concept the is scary. Yeah. Uh, what's the movie called? Um, Human Centipede? Oh. Uh, I hear people have thrown up because of that movie. I've never seen it. <laughs> but from what I understand, it's horribly disgusting, gross, and yeah. Um, yeah, actually, fun fact, uh, a movie that, like, literally traumatized me as a kid to the point where I would never shut up about it for the longest time. It was it was like this really crappy horror movie. I'm I'm sure you, some of you have heard of it. It's called Arachnophobia. Uh, oh, I've never, never seen, never it, seen it. Never okay, seen it. have you heard of it though? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know why. I think I was in like second and third grade. I remember it was like on wall, what's it called? It was just on the TV and I was just sitting there watching it. And it, honestly, think, I remember some of them vividly just because they were burnt into my brain. But none of the scenes that I saw were even that scary. It's not a scary movie. But me being in third grade, I thought it was the most horrifying thing ever. And it amplified my small fear for spiders by like a million. I was like literally traumatized and it like broke me. 
I don't understand arachnophobia. I've never it's been afraid of spiders. No, I'm, honestly, I'm petrified when I was... of snakes. People really? that are afraid of snakes are babies. Snakes <laughs> are cool. Yeah, that's the no. That's my one fear is snakes. Well, then you're. Interesting. I have my only fear. Honestly, I think my only fears are height and uh, I hate the ocean. I hate the ocean. The ocean's terrifying. Changed my mind. I can't. I don't I, like I the can't. ocean because it it's just not. It's not nice. It's okay. So I think it's called. Like I like it, but I don't. I What's the fear burnt. of the fear of the ocean? Well, yeah, no, fear of the ocean. It's called. Something. I think it's called thalassophobia. T H, thalassophobia. <laughs> it's, it's not. That I I'm don't... afraid of the ocean. I just. Yeah, it's thalassophobia. Like it. I have. Um, anyway, I have... we're kind of getting off topic here. I'll be honest. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but let's. It, uh. What? Why does topic matter? We're well, just I guess here to it talk. doesn't. Yeah. You're right. I used to have banana phobia. <laughs> what? Are you, are you serious? The fear of bananas. <laughs> I don't think that's, that's a, a thing. It is. It's very much a thing. Well, banana, why are you afraid of bananas? Banana phobia why? is it is a very rare and uncommon, but the fear of bananas or banana phobia does exist. A very famous case with such a with such a phobia has been reported by the Daily in the Daily Mail. Oh no! What? How afraid were you of this Deathly. banana? Deathly. Like, if I brought a banana near you, what would you have done? Freak out and run away. And then, <laughs> and then I would have puked well, like five minutes later. I don't think you can get over phobias. I got so over. I don't think no, it's a you phobia. can. You can. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Phobia just means an intense fear of. Yeah. It's not like a you know, mental condition. Oh. It just means like it's like very scary to you. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's. I think that's why I had a very small bit of a arachnophobia after watching that movie because uh. It just kind of like amplified it for a bit, but and I was like, I remember I was sitting because I like I think recently I just got in my bedroom in the basement or whatever, and uh, our water heater and our uh, that stuff it makes like really weird noises, and yeah, a lot of them sound like it, a lot of them sound like the squeaks the spiders made in the movie, and I remember just becoming petrified while I was laying in my. my... <laughs> Ugh. I used to see like the Grinch in the hallway at night, and that's <laughs> that's how. That's how I used to think the devil was the Grinch. So I always thought I was seeing the Grinch, which in my which I thought was the devil. So I'm like, why am I seeing? And then I and then I later realized it's because I was looking at my light, and then I went into a dark hallway, so I was seeing spots. So <laughs> I one time I woke so up I and I saw. Myself. One time I woke up and saw SpongeBob standing in front of me with a holding a balloon. Smile. <laughs> I just kind of that's, stood there and was like tripping. That's that's David's sleep paralysis. <laughs> David's sleep paralysis demon is just SpongeBob. Speaking of uh, speaking of SpongeBob, what do you guys think about that new movie they're making? I don't like. SpongeBob, they made a new. Really. They're making a new SpongeBob movie. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a baby. Got Keanu Reeves. It's got Keanu Reeves in it. Wait, I, had, I didn't hear about this. Heck yeah, he's dude. a baby. It's, it's, one, it's, how baby Gary and and Gary. it's how SpongeBob and Gary meet, basically. Uh, it's an origin story. Why are they finally an we origin get... story on SpongeBob? Spon- <laughs> Sponge on the run. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's Oh about. my lord. Dude, I no. SpongeBob and Patrick travel to the lost city of Atlantic City to solve the mysterious kidnapping Atlantis of Gary. Atlantis again? There was already an Atlantis movie. Yeah, they're, they're going to find the kid. They're... Uh, trying to solve the mysterious kidnapping of Gary the Snail. They soon prove oh. that there's nothing stronger than the power of friendship as they encounter danger My and Lord. delight at every turn. That's like... <laughs> They're coming out with the minions too. Oh my, no, God. my oh my I knew about that. that. I knew about Dude, that. Seth, yeah, it shows Seth. you what happens after Gru gets them. Well, I was like, gonna say, Seth, they set up adult. a sequel when that movie came out so well. Yeah. Ugh. Minions, The Rise of Gru is an upcoming American 3D computer animated comedy film produced by Illumination. A sequel to Minions and spin-off slash prequel of the main Despicable Me series, it will be re- directed again by Clyde Kyle Balda, with Brad Abelson and Jonathan Duvall as co-directors. Huh. Explain how you direct an animated movie. I don't know. <laughs> Steve Carell in it again. Well, yeah. I and Russell it. Brand. Who? 
That's special. Despicable Me was made in 2010. I was alive when it came out. Holy That's crap, cool. really? Yeah. I, wa I watched it when it came out, too. Yeah, the really first Toy like Story it. came out in, like, 1997. When yeah. uh when I was younger, we always every, my grandma used to take me and Dallas always to go um see the new animated movies that came out like mm -hmm. on release day or during the release week all the time. We saw all of them. My grandma. Yeah, we did. We'd always go see them in the theater. Mm -hmm. so Human Centipede we... Two. They're making a second one. Oh, they made a second one. <laughs> Dude, we, ha we have to we have to watch the first one as a group. Yeah. Oh Lord. God. Ash is July when I come up, it, but Dude. she will not be in the room with us when we watch it. If we do, hey, uh, hey, David. Yeah. Um, do you remember that time, like back in seventh grade, when you said you were gonna bring the Blair Witch Project over to Ash's house for me, you, Seth, and him to watch, and then you never yeah, did. You never brought it. I heard <laughs> that. That's why no one reminded me. <laughs> I remember. I was actually like. I was actually like excited to watch it, and then, you know, and then he said he didn't that, bring it. Ash owns that movie. Yeah, yeah but, but we have three hundred movies on yeah, Amazon. Yeah, that movie Prime. also sucks. <laughs> I, I honestly, I've never seen it. They have uh, three hundred plus seen some... horror movies on Amazon Prime. Oh yeah, they I've watch seen a lot of so many. Movies. I've seen so many clips, and then I've just seen the ending, which is why I know it's a horror. Movie. It's so. I, mean, I never actually got to see it. They My dad thinks I like it. Centipedes? What the heck? But the game theory on it was actually pretty. I mean, the film theory. Hmm. It was uh, really good. To punish his prisoners, a, a sadistic warden and his right hand man hatched a, hatch a scheme to suture 500 inmates together. Texas Chainsaw almost had an X rating. Really? Like the original yeah. one? Yeah, because he wanted to put d graphic details in it, like, a lot. Uh, he had to cut it down so it would be only rated R. <laughs> he was originally going for PG-13. <laughs> that mean, worked well. Was, yeah, like, everything was rated PG-13 back then. Now everything's rated R. Mm -hmm. It's so stupid. If they ever make another Barney movie, I'm, it's probably going to be rated R. Oh my god. Well, Did you imagine? Barney's the sex offender. Uh, yeah. yeah. Huh. They did oh, make a Barney Lord. movie that, though. They yeah. didn't know that. Did they really? Yeah. I watched it a bunch. That reminds me. That reminds me. What if they made like a horror movie on Barney? That what's that? What was that one movie called? It was called like the uh, shoot. Um. Uh, it's called it was like the... based. No, it was so it was based <laughs> off of like a, a a TV show, like a kids TV show, and it was like a bunch of like uh people in costumes and like, were, like animatronic those, people. Yeah, they were supposed I to be. Forget like, what it's called. Yeah, they were supposed to be. Yeah, it was Nights made by Freddy's. the people that were. No, it was the, it was the people they had to make this movie because they were uh, working on the Final Freddy's movie, but then uh, they the sold they sold splits. the rights off. Yeah, that's what it was splits. called. I Thank you. Yeah, I've never Washington seen that movie. Out. It was supposed to be it was supposed to be the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, but the, they sold the rights off and I had to change it. That's I actually never... based on a TV show. I've never yeah, seen that movie. Yeah, TV. yeah, it is based off a TV show. Um, never seen. I kind of, you know, I kind of thought, what's it called, that a Five Nights at Freddy's movie would actually be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, with what they're doing with it, it's similar to the books uh, in the style, mm -hmm. of it. and that looks doesn't look. And that sounds actually pretty cool. The books were good. There were a books. movie, a there movie were on that game. I think that, yeah, of course. I think um that that game series definitely deserves a movie. I think they could do amazing things with a movie like that, especially with the great CGI and stuff they have now. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. they could do, they back, could do back, some incredible back things. In, back in 2014 when it first came out, it had been horrible when it was first started. But now, now it's fantastic. Oh yeah, now I I would I would totally go see a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. That'd be sick. Oh my lord, I don't know why I just thought about this. Probably just because we're talking about, like, games being made into movies. Do you remember a couple years ago when that Slenderman movie came out? Yeah, it oh, was dude, horrible. That, that it was horrible. I never watched it. Was it, literally, I... it was literally just a knockoff. 
this Japanese movie that was also made into made into an American movie it's called The Ring. It was called Ring Game in Japan. The Ring was a good movie. Because basically, the, yeah, the ring was, was basically you watch a you watch this tape and then you have like a certain amount of days to live. This so in Slenderman, days. you watch a tape. Yeah. You in, watch, in the in ring, Slenderman, you watch a tape and it immediately affects you with the visions of Slenderman, and you have to avenge it all. All this crap. Yeah, it's literally just knockoff. We gotta get together and watch the ring. I think I've watched Ringu before. I said the ring, not the Rango. Japanese. No, not Rangu, nope. Ringu. The Japanese yeah, version the... of the ring. Rango? Yeah, Rango what was, the was a good movie. Based on... That was Dude, a good Rango. movie. Dude, Rango. Dude, honestly, Rango 20... Was that, was that like 2013? 2012, I think. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was an underrated movie. That was a good <laughs> movie, though. It was a good movie. I was, it was I was so did. weird. Oh, no, it was 2011. I remember I it saw was... it in 3D. It was so good. It was so <laughs> good. It was good. You know? Okay. I, so there were the certain topic. movies when I was a kid where if the animation like style looked dirty, I wouldn't like the movie. Dumbo was <laughs> a really get, good movie. It had to look clean. The new one? Like it. No, the old one. Oh, I mean, so, they're both good. Have you seen the new one? The live action one's good. I have the Dumbo stuffed animal. I just saw it. It's in my room because I bought it at Disney as a souvenir. Yeah. That was a good yeah. movie. And so was Ratatouille. I have Remy right in my <laughs> yes, room as well. Yes, I remember Remy. But I have them, like, I have them on a display in my room because, yeah, why not? Because Remy. Who doesn't want to display Remy? It's one fact. That's what my grandma named her dog. Tell him to get in the kitchen and start cooking. I don't know why the mother load cheat is not working on Sims. This is off topic, but it may be funny for the people watching the podcast. Um... Uh, I just remembered it. We talked. I texted my grandma, and I had uh, sent her this uh, video of this thing that I saw on Instagram. It was basically a dog uh, toy, a uh, uh, tug of war toy, and it basically the one end suctions cups to the ground. Mm-hmm. I was like, "You should get this for Remy because she always likes to play tug of war." Yeah. And um, apparently, she already did. And that dog is a uh, Rottweiler. Apparently, the dog freaking ripped a tile off the ground that it was suction cup to. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my lord, dude! I didn't know that. But yeah, uh, the, uh, by the fish car, apparently that happened. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna cut to a little bit of a break with some elevator music in here, and uh, we'll see you guys in a couple of a uh, minute. In a few, yeah. yeah in a few. Minute. In a few. See you. Uh, see you then. You know, you can just unlatch it from the wall mounted charger and then start back. Come on, dude. Man. Dude, it gets, what about it gets everything out? What about the Roomba? Like, can we talk about the Roomba? It's like a freaking automated vacuum. Okay, like, guys, <laughs> we're back. Oh, crap. Oh. Yeah. So, um, Hi, guys. We were having an engaging conversation about vacuum cleaners. I like the uh, vacuums with the dogs on them. Like little peppers on the oh, front. Oh yeah, yeah. I have. I have. Yeah. You know what tastes pretty good? Chinese. A box of twenty four crayons. <laughs> change, change my mind. Uh, Dude, I, I can't. I, 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 I think twenty you. gauge steel tastes better than a box of crayons. Whew. That's that's a pretty hard. Uh, that's a pretty hard uh, pass for me. I like chewy wax. But I want the crunch. Okay. I want. I want to feel my teeth break. That's what the sandpaper. Is. Yeah, the crunch the is in the metal. Is crunch, the crunch is in the metal. The crunch is his teeth. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I have to leave. So we're going Good. a little bit off topic oh. from the movie part. Oh, we're going to. Good guys, game. guys, we must uh, greet David or tell tell David goodbye. He's leaving us. Goodbye, David. Goodbye. Goodbye, leave, David. leave, goodbye, leave, David. leave. Bye, David. Bye. Leave. Bye. Bye. Leave. Bye. Leave. Leave. Okay, now that that sim's gone. Is he gone? <laughs> yeah. Let's talk so much crap cool. about him. No, 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 no. no. Okay. All right. Um. So, 
What's it called? Oh yeah. Uh, how about we uh, because you know this is the you first time they're hearing this. Matter. Hold on, hold on, cause this Carter, cause this is the first time they're hearing this. Obviously. Uh, yeah. how about we, how about we give them a little idea of what exactly why we're doing a podcast? Cause I'm bored. Yeah, we're all kind of bored in our <laughs> house with yeah, the unfortunate with this, circumstances. With this, so. this, un, this unfortunate, quote unquote, unfortunate circumstance of the strength, the strong flu from Fallout. COVID nineteen yeah, versus COVID-19. the U- versus yeah, we're all the world. we're all just kind of super yeah. bored, and it, it gives us something to look but, forward. Sorry, to my beats died. So. My beat. No, okay. Humanity Total versus there. AIDS. <laughs> So yeah, that's yeah. kind of that's kind of why we're doing it. We're yeah. we're all kind of bored, and uh, it gives us something to look forward to. So we figured we start off a silly little podcast and act like we're gonna be getting hundreds of viewers. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you for one million followers. Yeah. Thanks for one million on TikTok. We did it, guys. We hit a quarter of a million subscribers on TikTok. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's dumb to me. Dude, Remy has his hands down his pants. Whoa! 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 <laughs> whoa. Good lord. I got some playing cards. You guys want to play rock, paper, scissors? Nah, I'm good. Okay. Carter? What? Thank you no, for listening fine. To, thank you for listening to the Increase Your Impact podcast. We're not done yet. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's let's talk about something that everyone can relate to. Um, the ty- the kind of labels that they put on shoes on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Okay. What are you okay, talking about? I I was looking on Amazon one day for shoes, and I found shoes that advertised that they felt like stepping. Why on were you food. shopping for shoes on Amazon? Why not? That's Score. your first problem. Well, you see. I like to see what kind of Chinese crap I can find on Amazon, and I found these shoes that advertise they feel like stepping on poop. You guys hear me? Yeah, we got it. I hear you. Uh, Alright, cool. Let's see if I can find... Yep. Men's comfortable running shoes like stepping on poop. Tachi, tai Chi King Adaptive Smart Cushioning Professional Non-Slip Sneakers for Walking Tennis Fitness Gym. They don't look that bad. They just look like really weird Yeezys. What? We're talking about shoes that make you feel like you're stepping on poop. I might, I might get me some Peppa Pig Crocs if I'm being honest. I am going to kill you. <laughs> I can play. I've um, I've been trying to. Lo- I've I've already tried looking for some big Crocs. Just can't find them. I I despise Crocs. They look at like least, Swiss at least cheese. I, I, I can't I can't find any that are above a size like thirteen and little girls. Just make dude, that's own. so insensitive. To be I know. Yeah. Um, Amadeus. 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 Hey, that's copyrighted. That's copyrighted. Shut up. <laughs> Chill, dude. It's copyrighted. I wasn't singing it. I was saying it. How long have we been recording for tonight? Uh, like a sum of forty minutes. I, that... I was gonna say it hasn't showed me. Gumbo the elephant is a sa- is a sappy little boy. Let's look at some all. Let's look at all shoes on M uh, on Converse. Um, Good lord. The yeah. uh, sa- the original seventies Chucks are more. They're higher quality than the normal Chucks, in yeah. my opinion. Chuck 70. They feel better good. on your foot. Um, and then the Commodus Garcones are like a step up because they're like the premium com- premium Converse, and they're even more comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really... You know, here, Carter, hey, uh, we should um start titling our podcast after... We should, like, talk. Uh, we should just, like, start the, what's it called? Start each podcast with just, like, one topic. See where we get to at the end and just title the podcast after kind of some of what we talked about. The water's turning the freaking frogs gay, bro. No way. <laughs> yeah, I found these on Am- uh, not on Amazon. But Did you know a monetizable word is boobies with four O's? Boobies! 
<laughs> what? Advisable according to the YouTube algorithm. I, I gotta put zeros instead of O's. I'm being dead serious, that's monetizable. Well, I mean, it's not inappropriate. Imagine being Seth? 15 and getting 40 million followers. Seth, I don't know if I like Commodus. I'll be honest with you. I, I like talking Commodus about Carson. it. I think, I think the design looks right, but I don't, I don't like the design of the Converse with it. I, I like don't know. golf. Golf and golf wing. Golf with fear mm. and golf wing. I like. Probably close off the podcast if people aren't sitting here for like hours. What happened? What'd you say? Probably should close off the podcast if people aren't sitting here for like hours. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So this was our first attempt at the podcast. First one in my yeah. 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 Well, kind of, let's, really... let's uh let's address the elephant in the room here, guys. This is a re record. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be honest. Before. I mean I'm not posting We're... the first recording. It's fine. Yeah. Unless you want us to. Like, <laughs> if you guys, I mean, maybe maybe once I hit 100 videos, then I will do it as like a bonus video, or like my hundredth video. I don't know. I love that. Um, I love that you tried to our Patreon. Videos, like, hold on, no. <laughs> <laughs> Carter, Carter, I love that you treat 100 videos like a milestone because you're the only one that's actually putting work into it. So that could milestone could come today or it could come in the next two months. Yeah. You should do it based on the on, on like subscribers or something like that. Dude, well, watch, I, watch. dude yeah, I, Carter, shoot for subscribers. I don't know. Dude. We should maybe not talk about this on here. No, yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> well, <cut this> out. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll... thank you for listening to the Super Fine Podcast. Yeah, with this has been your Fine? This thank has you. been your favorite soon, soon to This has been your favorite be friend, Seth. Yeah, sure. We might uh we might Carter, I don't know, we might uh throw a new name into it just because we might give our give our little group here a name there and then give the podcast a name to go with it. Okay, if you guys see a name change, don't worry about it. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you. That is your. Bye. 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 Bye.